Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error that is something unexpected happened and the error code is 0x8073CFB. So if you are receiving this error code while installing any games or application from Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go ahead and run the Windows Store Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on the Settings icon and then go to Update and Security, then click on Troubleshoot then click on additional troubleshooter scroll down click on windows store apps and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and use my library to download the game or application so open microsoft store and on the top right here you can see the three dots click on it then click on my library and over here you will be able to see your installed ready to install game under ready to install game you will find your game or application or you can go ahead and click on all owned and over here you will find your game and then you can go ahead and click on install now the next step is to use xbox app to download the game so you can go ahead and type in xbox console companion in windows search box and open xbox console companion and then once this is open you go to click on this three line over here and then click on my my games and you will find your game over here and from here you can go ahead and download your game now if you don't find your game over here scroll down at the end here you can see find games in microsoft store and click on it then type the name of your game and download it from there now the next step is to run network troubleshooter for this make a right click on the internet icon on the bottom right and then click on troubleshoot problem and once the troubleshoot is done try to use microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and turn off use a proxy server for your lan for this you can go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inetcpl.cpl go to the connections tab now click on lan settings and then if this is checked we say is use a proxy server for your lan if this is checked uncheck it then click on ok ok and then try to use Microsoft Store. The next step is to clear the store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box. Make a right click on WS reset, then click on run as administrator. And then you will see this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This will take some time. Uh, it may take few seconds or maybe a minute for this black screen to go away. And once this black screen is gone, it will open Microsoft Store. Now the next step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right here you can see a profile icon. Click on it. Then select your account. Then click on sign out. Now again click on your profile icon. Then click on sign in. Select your account. Then click on continue. Now over here enter your PIN or password over here. And then once you are logged in you can go ahead and try to use Microsoft Store. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, make sure date and time is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make sure this time and date is correct over here. Also make a right click on time and date and then click on adjust date and time. And then make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on over here. Then click on sync now and then try to use Microsoft Store. Now over here, you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now you can go ahead and try to use Microsoft Store. Now still you are facing the problem, you can go ahead and update your Windows 10 to the latest version. For this, click on Start menu, then go to Settings, then click on Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then use Microsoft Store. The next step is to reset Store app. For this, go to Start menu, open Windows 10 Settings once again. Click on Apps. In the search box, you can go ahead and type in Store. And then click on Microsoft Store then click on advanced options scroll down over here you can see the reset option click on reset reset and once the reset is done you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store now the next step is to restart windows update microsoft store install and background intelligence service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update over here scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply 
and if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok and with windows update selected over here click on restart the service now find microsoft store install service make a double click make sure startup type is set to automatic click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with this selected click on restart the service now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and with this selected click on restart the service and then you you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run these power cell command and re-register the store for this make a right click on the start menu then click on windows power cell admin make sure that you are opening power cell as in admin click on yes to allow and then copy the first command the command is provided in the video description copy it and then paste it over here and then hit the enter key and once this is done run the second command paste it over here then hit the enter key now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall microsoft store for this again open power cell make a right click on the start menu then click on windows power cell admin click on yes to allow and then copy the first command and paste it over here and then hit the enter key this will go ahead and uninstall microsoft store from your computer so now next time when you try type type in store in windows search box when you try to open microsoft store it will not open up now after this you go ahead and restart your computer go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart run this command so again make a right click on the start menu then click on windows power cell admin and then click on yes to allow and this time paste the second command hit the enter key and this will go ahead and reinstall microsoft store on your computer so this time go ahead and type in store and then it might take few seconds so you can go ahead and type in store once again and then here you can see microsoft store and it should start working now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run these command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and then copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key and let the scan complete now once this scan is 100 percent complete run the second scan so let the first scan complete first and once that is 100 percent complete paste the second command in the same command from window hit the enter key and once this scan is 100 percent complete restart your computer and then try to use microsoft store the next step is to again open inetcpl.cpl command so just type in inetcpl.cpl click on inetcpl.cpl go this time go to the advanced tab scroll down and over here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 so if any one of them is unchecked go ahead and make sure that all use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 .1, and 1.3 is checked over here then click on apply ok and then use microsoft store in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and update windows 10 using media creation tool so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see media creation tool so click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see this screen so agree so agree to the terms so click on accept and then by default upgrade this pc now would be selected so click on next and it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now let the download complete this process will take time so once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked now when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so you can click on install and after the installation you can log into your computer and then open microsoft store and you should be able to use microsoft store without any error and this error should go away so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel